tech companies and brands have been unveiling their latest developments left and right at CES 2023. This biggest tech convention was just recently wrapped up and it was surely jam-packed with lots of exciting gifts moves to talk about. Hi, I'm Louis from Yuga Tech and here's our highlights of CES 2023. We saw lots of display monitors and TVs at the convention and one of the most notable is LG's 97-inch OLED wireless TV. The idea is to reduce your frustration in cable management. The TV itself is just a blank metal at the back and it leaves only the power cord that is meticulously hidden inside one of the leg stands. It comes with a serial connect black box that has all the IOs and beams up all the audio and video signals up to 4K resolution at 120Hz. Latency could be one of its hiccups but with the current pace of technological advancements, that can easily be achieved in the future. Dual displays on a laptop isn't a new thing but the Lenovo YogaBook 9i takes that form factor to another level. It features two identical OLED panels whereas the brand optimized the software to work as seamless virtual desktops on steroids. It's apparently not just an extended display as the lower panel can also be used as a keyboard along with a trackpad with haptic feedback already. Despite the dual screen being its main highlight, nothing beats the tactility of a physical keyboard. So Lenovo is generous enough to include a well-designed keyboard slash cover slash stand making it a portable desktop. And it has a stylus too that can be placed securely at the back of the stand. Gaming is for everyone. Now, Sony is making the PlayStation easier to access for gamers with disabilities. As the brand just announced their new accessibility controller called the Project Leonardo, it packs a split design controller with customizable buttons and joystick tops of different sizes and shapes. It is also crafted with the help of the disabled community throughout its design phase. Additionally, it works on third-party gaming accessories including buttons and switches, further broadening its overall accessibility. Speaking of gaming, your usual monitor may have a capacity of 144Hz of screen refresh rate. Well, Dell is ready to bump it up to a whopping 500Hz with their new Alienware gaming monitor. It boasts a 24.5-inch Full HD IPS display with NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer, NVIDIA G-Sync certified, and has 99% sRGB colors. Of course, it adopts the Alienware aesthetics with a fully customizable Alien FX backlighting, hexagonal base, and not to mention a built-in retractable headset hanger, which is pretty handy. This monitor also received the Best of Innovation Award from CES under the Computer Peripherals and Accessories category. If you're enjoying this content so far, be sure to hit like because we really appreciate it. Also, sub to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Samsung really said, hold my ear, because they're bringing their foldable tech to slide on a whole new level, like literally. With the introduction of Samsung's Flex Hybrid Display, it combines folding and sliding mechanisms in one vessel. There are two versions actually, the Solo that expands in one direction only and the Duet that expands on both sides. They're pretty big, sporting a total of 17-inch displays unfolded and slided. Both Flex are still in prototype though, but it is said to be a part of Samsung's future laptop designs. Smart watches are great, but unlike analog or normal digital watches, their batteries tend to drain out sooner, thus needing to recharge from time to time. The Be Heart smartwatch may have a solution for that as it can sustain itself with natural energy harvesting tech. Called the B Motion, it harvests energy through motion, body heat, and natural light. It hosts a suite of sensors, like heart sensor, an accelerometer to monitor your health data, just like other smartwatches with fitness trackers. I usually see this in cartoons, a bike that can generate power as you pedal. Acer's eConnect Bike Desk Hybrid makes that a reality. Simply, it lets you exercise through pedaling that generates power from kinetic energy, hence the name. One hour of pedaling at 60 RPM per minute can supposedly generate up to 75 watts of power, at least Acer claims. And of course, it comes with ports ranging from a single USB-C and two USB-A ports to fit different mobile devices. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up this list. There are just so many other gadgets to mention like Razer head cushion concept with built-in surround sound, a wearable that lets you shout quietly, a smart home device that tests your pee among hundreds of showcases. What's your best pick among the bunch? We'd love to hear your thoughts down below. 
While you're at it, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Or visit yugatech.com for more tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Louis of Yugatech. See you in our next video.